Shall we mox diamond? Mind twist and inti both totally reasonable. Narset, if you're like looking to cut blue straight from the get go, Narset's a totally fe fine card here too. I'm a mox Dam diamond person though. Give me that fast mana. Hello. Looking at monolith, fracture identity, and maybe Kappa Cannoneer. I think if you're going for Kappa, though, you should take the Monolith and try and wheel it. Fractured sick. I mean, I'm in Monolith. Let's Monolith. Anyone try the new Gitrog out yet? I've played it a couple of times in, um, in like, green, red, splashing black for it. Because it looks sick. It looks really sick on paper, but I haven't landed it yet. Hoping to wheel Kappa here. Arc. And Kappa's going to be a lot better with the Grim Monolith in her deck. And Monolith never wheels. And we're not guaranteed to be artifacts. Could still be some other archetype. I think Parallax Wave is the best card here. But is it the best with our start? Could take Kozilek and hope for a sneak attack. I don't hate that plan. Kozilek could be pretty castable if we ended up with an Academy deck too. Wow. Yeah, Ancient Tomb, really juicy. We're going to take the Minskin Boo. That's a kind of a signal, huh? Fourth pick Minskin Boo. If we end up playing Sneak Attack, the Minskin Boo fits in really clean, too. Just going to pass to Vestation. Good card's good. Did the Singer eat something hot? I think the Singer has stepped on a Lego. Ah! Solitude's sexy, but it's not really what I'm doing here. You could take the Plateau in case we ended up with, like, fourth or something. With this Mox Diamond, it'd be pretty easy to splash. The other line is to grab the Season Pyromancer, which might be good for smoothing stuff out. Might be good in a Sing Attack style deck with Kozilek. I don't really want to be a Green Sun deck. I'm going to take the Plateau. Kind of hate all this. Could take Breeding Pool in case we see an Oko. Or a time walk. Liberator's fine. Totally fine card. We already had passive station, so it's not necessary, but it's it's fine. E. Hmm. Yeah, Raptor's a hot one. Does that card ever flip with this format? Liberator? Oh yeah. I've certainly seen it flip before. People play off the top sometimes. Hey, Frozen Zero thinks the sub thinks of 89 months there. I guess I'm grabbing triplets. Don't love it, don't hate it. I'd like it better if we had the Singa Tank, the triplets. It's about where I want to see a Pilgrim. Again, could help with the white splash, right? If we found a Thari or um fourth, fourth more likely. Is Raptor a worse questing beast? Uh, I don't even know if Raptor's worse. Some people die to the fucking pump. Sick, I'll play that card. I guess I'm grabbing a tumble wag. I don't love it. Sylvan Library's been a lot worse for me than than um than in days gone by. I used to like be happy pack one pick one in a Sylvan Library. There's so many like Narsets and Hull Breachers and Orcs and stuff that it's just not nearly as good. It's just trying to kill people, I think. The threats have gotten so much better. Pyrokinesis is very reasonable in this spot. I, I think I want the Death Creator's Champion, but Pyrokinesis is also reasonable. I don't think we're sneak attacking. I'm going to cut both of these. Zerd is interesting, so is Dismember. Zerd goes infinite with Grimmonolith, but right now I don't really care about infinite. You can make, like, token one-ones, I guess, but... I'm gonna take the removal spell. 
Kind of need one of those. Raging Ravine. Ideally, Raging Ravine wheels. I'm, like, not really high on Palantir, but I guess I grab it here. And ideally, Brawler would be the sort of card that would wheel. We already have, like, a lot of Chonk, right? We already have a lot of Top End. I don't think we need the Brawler. Another removal spell. And it's interesting. Sunbaked is interesting. Nature's Claim. Yeah, we already have Nature's Claim stuff, right? We have Liberator. We have Pest Infestation. Still not really sure why Nature's Claim is in over the um, the pitch spell, right? That hits two. One of those cards sees a lot of modern play. The other one sees, like, less... Like a lot less. Hey, Psycho TKT. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 31 months. Yeah, Force of Vigor. Free spells are just so good. I feel like if you're going to lean into them, might as well lean all the way, hum. Noble versus Questing Beast here. I think we want Noble. I think we want like one more good Accelerant. I could cut Garrick, though. Eh, fuck it. Our Cascades for Carnosaur are actually kind of crazy. Hit like a Minskin Boo or some shit. I kind of dislike it, but I'm going to grab it just in case. If we get like one more like busted Accelerant, if we get like a Mana Vault or something, I might want the 6 drop. The other option here is Tough Cookie, which is a little bit better than it looks. In terms of applying the beats. Arc Trail would be the pickup, but, we're, but we did grab a couple of removal spells around the table. So I'm just going to take Ravine. Hey, the Pyrokinesis wield, awesome. Speaking of free spells being good, huh? Reflex is not the worst sideboard card. Of course, it's good if you're fast bonding. Yeah, I wouldn't play fast bond in this deck, though. So I'm just not excited about Corsair. You have both in your cube and you like Force better. Yeah, well, they used to have both in this cube. I'm 333. They've had both in this cube at various points. So I've certainly played with them both a lot. Not just talking out about talking out of my booty here. I think I dig chain lightning. Mox would have really gone hard. Or mana crypt. How good is Brawler? It's fine. It's like half a step too slow, but certainly powerful enough. That's one of the benefits of drafting the artifact deck, right? Is you're excited about that mox. And other people pass it to you and stuff. Olivant's good here. We have a Pyrokinesis to pitch it. And then there's a Taiga. I'm going to grab the library. A little control killer. Ooh. Got a few options here. Chariot's good. Not high on a Rabble Master or FTK over Chariot. Could take Ballista. Could take the Misty just in case the Taiga wheels. I think I like Ballista. I think I dig Ballista. One more one drop. One more Mana Dork would be hot. Could take Commercial District here so the Ente has something to grab. I think I'm supposed to grab Chandra's. Not much of a Rafello stack come. Um. I like Carnage Interpreter if I can dump my hand quicker on Twitch chat. I like that card a lot, but you want to be playing it with like a tight curve. Like if you change this curve to be like, if you cut all this shit, then I like Carnage Interpreter a lot more. But if you're playing fives and stuff, I like it less. Well, Sprawl could do it. Have to up the forest count. I think it's worth it. Just add one more accelerant. Definitely not seeing fourth at this point. How'd the channel deck do? Uh, we trophied. This is between Cobra and Autodeem. Think about Hewer Might versus Goyf. Goif. Not the worst Goif deck ever. Shadow Spear might be interesting. 
good with a few of these cards. Sometimes Tumblewag gets really big and very chumpable. We do have an Eldrazi in the board. I'm kind of good on channeling, though. I'm kind of sick of it. Just did a channel league. Hey, there's the Taiga. Yeah, I guess I play the Palantir. Yeah, I need a little bit more fast mana in terms of, like, Moxon. Sucks that we had to choose between Minskin Boo and Ancient Tomb that one pick. At least we got a couple more accelerants. Do you want to play any old school formats? Um, I play pre-modern. Been a bit since I've done a tournament. Lotus Cobra would have indeed been good there. Yeah, that was a hard pick. Close pick for sure. Might have leaned Cobra if I had some fetches. Is that in a forest? Six, seven, eight. It's ten green sources. Just thinking about if it's in a forest for the Utopia Sprawl. I think eight's like the fucking minimum. I'm gonna get like ten red here. That's pretty good. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. It does indeed look like some gruel beats. Not the best version of the deck that I've had, but like... It's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. Slick Shot. I played Slick Shot a few times. Uh, I think it's at its best in blue red, where you can play a lot of cantrips and just like keep the the flow going. The Slick Shot was okay in it, but the the deck wasn't very good. A little library start here. Opponent on Colonnade. Don't hate it. Don't hate it. Only I may draw cards. There used to be this uh, idea in Magic, in Magic Cube drafting, that like Library of Alexandria only fit like control decks or something. Super wrong, <laughs> just just like laughably wrong. You'd be drafting like mono red or mono black aggro, and people were like, "Why are you drafting the library? Isn't it dog shit here?" It's like, no, it's fucking sweet. Draw, draw some cards. What are they gonna do? Die. You don't want to draw an extra lightning bolt in your fucking burn deck? Look at this fucking name. Snisner Bobertson. Amazing. Amazing. Questing Beast is pretty bad versus Caracas. Might still get a hit in, we'll see. Even two extra cards is gas, right? Yeah, you don't have to fucking tap library every turn either. It's played out pretty well this game though. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm kind of surprised the Spirit hasn't been traded with something. Let's 
So library has drawn five cards this game. For those keeping track. Hey, cube is better. Thanks for the 21 months there. You're packing to visit Korea tomorrow. That's awesome. I hope you have a fucking blast in Korea. I hope you have a great time. Let me know how it is. I've never been. Let me know if I should go. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Flavor Judge. Thanks for 25 months. The control deck? Uh, I think they're like kind of aggro control, right? They have these like cheap threats. Doing like kind of a blue white mid range thing. Hmm. <laughs> Could slam int. I think I just want to pump ballista. Oh shit, what up? Hey Wahoo Junkie, things are the sub, things are the four months. You're there for work, but you get two days to explore. Okay, two days is pretty good. Get some nice food. Walk around, see the sights. I'm a big fan of checking out museums when I'm traveling. I think it's a cool way to like learn a lot about a culture in a short period of time. Man, this Luris does not match up well against my hand. I win. So they played cards where Pyrokinesis could look good. I know Pyrokinesis looked bad that game. But they were like looting away like two ones and stuff. Ooh, let's play this one. And cut this one. Minskid Boo is also weak to Caracas, but at least it can still fling things. I'll leave Minskin. Masterclass on library cadence? Uh, not really. I just <laughs> I just tapped it every turn. <laughs> we didn't have any difficult decisions that game. Sometimes you abandon the library to like catch up on tempo and stuff. We never had to do that. Just re relaxed, rested on our laurels, as it were. How did you have a questing beast? Yeah, Caracas bounces questing beast. So there's a reason I never played it last game, right? It's because they had an onboard Caracas uh, held up for most of the game. So we spend four mana on Questing Beast, they just bounce it back to my hand. Oddity does not have that particular particular vulnerability, so it's much, much better in this matchup. Yeah, I'm not sure how much that mattered, Deckon. Based on their loots, they didn't like have a ton going on. They had like two mana and two ones they could have played and stuff. Hard to remember Questing Beast is actually a legendary creature from Arthurian legend. Yeah. It needs its own movie. Play like the Green Knight. I really enjoyed the Green Knight, the film. Very measured, a lot of really cool scenes, cool cinematography. Apparently it was made on like a really cheap budget too. It's just some like visionary filmmaking. It really reminded me of, um, we read it in college. And so, like, watching the film, it was interesting seeing the um, the director's take on the legend, you know? Weird as hell movie. Yeah, super weird, huh? Saw X says, great comrag. Excellent comrag. Agreed, Saw. The reason to play Oddity over Questing Beast is still my opponent's Caracas that was held up all last game when I never played a Questing Beast and talked about it all last game, and then I talked about it in the sideboarding. That's still it. It will still be that when the next person asks me a few minutes from now. Fucking, um, ooh. So then do turn one here. Yeah, one of the cool things about the Green Knight is that uh, the the film is so old. Oh, wow, they just pitched Fractured Identity. 
protect the duelist of the mind. I kind of dig it. Wild. Countering my spells a crime. They got to loot. Oh, nice rec recall. Catching up on those cards. Yeah, the Chrome Mox was a pitch cast, and the Force Negation was a pitch cast. So if they didn't have something to refill, I was feeling pretty good about the game. Anyway, cool thing about uh, that film is that it's so old that the um, the current model of storytelling hadn't like really been ironed out. Like these days, every film we see, every story we see, has this like very like concise method of storytelling where like everything is relevant to the plot, and you start like with a it's like fucking hero character development, fucking like build 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 climax, end of film, wrap everything up, and you just see it like over and over and over again. And so I think it's like kind of refreshing to see a movie that doesn't follow that right, that just kind of meanders for a bit, has all these like side things going on. Oh, shit. They have three cards in hand. I was planning on just Tumbleway. I'd grow my Ballista, but... The one that just came out a couple of years ago, Workshops. I am talking about the recent <laughs> I'm very much talking about the recent the recent film. The one that people are like have had a chance to see. <laughs> like a bat's chance in hell that one of the one of the people watching this may have seen this movie. <laughs> the tale of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight is older than the nineteen fifties version of the film. It's a it's an extremely old old story. Excalibur is a fucking classic. I was surprised that I... I saw that movie a couple years ago, and I was surprised I had not seen it sooner. It was just, like, so much my sort of thing. Really good film. All right, boo, let's go. Let's go to town. A lot of really fun, almost surreal sort of shots in there. The original is not Chaucer. <laughs> hey, sup, Golands? Maboo! At least they had the two for the one themselves here. Council's Judgment's not even a crime. Slamming Counters on Ballista does seem cool. That was my original plan for turn three. And then we do the Mox Diamond, and now we've been playing four drops. Do we get to connect? Hey, there we go. Hell yeah, Ori Power. That was Dragonland Astronomy. And now we got a little bit of Maiden here. You were thinking with Minsk? I don't think uh, Walking Ballista is a legal target for Minsk. I think it has, has some conditions on the targeting. One target creature with Trample or Haste. Neither of which are Ballista things. I really want to save with the, serve with the ravine here, but I think this is better. Yeah, right, Big Titty? <laughs> them landing the Crocus the turn after they two for one themselves on the, the mints was pretty perfect. But yeah, really glad I don't have a questing beast in my deck somewhere right now, right? Mox Diamond saving me some life. Suppose every turn I just want to like activate this ravine, <laughs> and every turn it's like, yeah, this is slightly better, I suppose. I 
Ooh, <laughs> hello. They're slamming their mana, sure. I think I'm fine offering the trade with the token if they want to do that. The ravine's been waiting so well. Alright, this is Ravine's gotta be better than casting an end. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Snister Bobertson with the swords. All right, let's see how generous the scent really is. Hey, Decorai007, thanks for the sob, thanks for the 110 months. Cheers. Oh, hell yeah. Hope I'm having a great, good day. I'm having a great day, Decorai. Having a real good one. They get the staff back. Fair enough. You didn't know Twitch existed for 110 months? Oh yeah, Twitch is pretty old. My first stream was in late 2014, so 10 years ago. Imagine 110 months of top tier content. Oh yeah, I can. Not hard to imagine at all. It was called something else before Twitch, right? Yeah, I don't know about the spirit token on the, the Ulven Wall there. Maybe they missed the trample. Justin.tv, yeah, that, that was before my time. Am I gonna do a 10 year anniversary? I don't know, should I? Get some cake and a party hat. Hey, Fate 1316, thanks to 88 months. You can only imagine 88 months of good content. Hey, that's a pretty good imagination, though. Maybe drink and play magic. That sounds like a good way to celebrate. What year was the 365? That was 2016. 2016 to 2017 was the 365. And that was the first year that I really started going full-time. Opponents drawing 10 more cards than me. They have 11 cards left in their deck to my 21. They kind of need a removal spell here. Did it worth it, 365? Was the 365 worth it? Oh yeah, definitely. It was a fantastic way to start my streaming career. I don't think the goblin tokens serve. Because they're like already dead to this stuff. So serving with the goblins just makes it like kind of disastrous if they have an answer to the Ulvenwald. They got a thing. Ooh. They did not do final spell. No, no, no. It was only a half hour set, you dude. That was my biggest complaint of the weekend. Was that um, Visigoth and Eternal Champion only got half hour sets. So they just had to play their um, their, their most well-known songs, you know. Give folks a taste. Something that I liked, though, was that um, both singers came out and uh, guested on, on each other's sets. So we got a little bit more, a little bit more of each singer. A 
like the the Visigoth singer came out for Eternal Champions. I am the Hammer, which was fantastic. That's just supposed to pal around here, huh? Why do I choose the Saga Lands? Because I like them. <laughs> what kind of question is that? When am I seeing KGLW? I believe September, formerly Beef. I think I'm going to hold the Mystic back in case the robber finds me something to play, like a two drop here, maybe. It did not. Your Ravening Iron Records, one of your favorite pickups from the last few years. It's such a good record. I've been blasting it lately, too. Oh, they've been Minsk and Tumblewag. Red 8. Oh, they got a blocker now, huh? I kind of wonder if I should be serving with Robber still for free card. Just fuck another land crate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fair enough. What if we did like a Nissa or some shit, right? So the anti has reach. It can't break the Thunder Mom. There's something to hold it on with the Flame Slash and like combining to get the anti out of the way. Oh, they're just serving. Okay. Definitely seems like a Parkinesis matchup, um. I wonder if Reflex is as sweet, or maybe Shadow Spearing. It got kind of racy there for a little bit. Some hot back and forth action. No, I don't think I have the room for it. I think I want like all removal and beats. Easiest keep of my life here. That's a good question, Skittles. Where is our Brizzly Bill? I guess I've been the Mox Diamond. I don't love it, but I guess. Would've been great if they had something for, you just, for me to dismember there, huh? That's not great for me. You know, in terms of cards they could have channeled out, I think we got a reasonable shot at beating that one. We just need to rip a land here so we can pest infest it, and then they have three three threes. We can like pyrokinesis one if you want. 
Then they only have six power, and Dismember and Liberator can both trade. But we do need that land. Perfect. We could actually Grim Monolith into Pest Devastation and then Dismember on the same turn. Which I think I like. Oh, another line is to Liberator Pass and pop Titan on their turn. Let's do that. There's a stifle in the format, is why I up upkept the Liberator there. If we get a land here, we can maybe pass and fast two of these tokens, which would be so good. Well, not that land. <laughs> Let's play out the Grim Monolith and then dismember something. Wouldn't have been a crazy pyrokinesis, but I don't think I need to. And then this next turn, we're just going to land the Minsk and Boo and start beating. Don't love that. Oh, let's uh, pyrokinesis this. All the six six to attack back with. I think this is good. Hell yeah. That was a sick fucking game, right? <laughs> they like channeled out a triple get titan, show and told in a gruff triplets. If you don't know, you don't even have to ask, Anthony. You can just fucking pretend that that doesn't exist. Can we discuss the thing I don't want to that you don't want to discuss? Nope, we can't. Oh, tell me what it is. I want to discuss it. Try again tomorrow, I guess. That could be a lot of one ones. Is that worth? I kind of like upticking Chandra for a card, but feels like that's a lot of one ones, right? Yeah, I was thinking if they wanted to spend a counterspell in the Pest Infestation, then they wouldn't be able to play the Brazen Borrower to pressure the Chandra. So either way, it'd be okay. 
like either they counter pest infestation and then we untap with our Chandra or they devote the resources to answering that and we have a bunch of tokens. Sure. I don't think we have a lot to do with this Grim Monolith. Getting in some damage is nice, though. Plays well with our Hasters. Thunder Maw would be a sick rip here, huh? I think Thunder Maw matches up very well against their threat base. Oh, that's a fucking bummer. That's an answer, answer to some fucking 1-1s, one huh? I think mean, that passive station bank. Yeah, they got me. Damn. Well, the game was going pretty well till it wasn't. I think I like the idea of Carnosaur here. Pyrokinesis looks awesome. I almost like Shadow Spear. I think Rebel Master is good, but it's a little vulnerable. I think we can cut it. Shadow Spear might make, just make us like impossible to race. Maybe it sh maybe it should be in. And we got a lot of cards that are good against X1s, Blista and such. I'm just gonna cut Chandra. I'm not high on it, empty Chion's reflexes. I think when it was new to the cube, I tried in the main deck and was off it pretty quickly. I was going to Ballista here and then champion it next turn to get another 1-1 one -one counter on the Ballista, but I think you're just supposed to play Pilgrim, right, so you can auto-deem, ideally. What's up, Microman? I draw land here, I can chain lightning their greeter and shadow spear mine. Still a good spot for a chain lightning. Yachty red. Oh, they're portenting me as a crime for Magda? That's hilarious. So they did not shuffle with portent. Let's see what they gave me on top. Yep, that is the worst draw on my deck. I gotta assume that they have an answer to this Death Greeter in their hand. Especially now that they got that extra Magda mana. Yeah, I'm not high on a Macro Man, but it does have a little bit of like old school nostalgia. Kind of weird to use the new art, even though the new art is sick. I think the, the purpose of a card like Portent is to give people the nostalgia hit. Their old boomerang cantrip. Hey, Quick Star, these are the sob, these are 35 months. Just me over here missing all the pump spells that used to be in the cube. How's the Cuban been? Cuban's been awesome. We got a trophy with mono green somehow.
I guess I'm supposed to eat this. We know one of the two cards in hand. Sick. Yeah, they double block the Uvin wall, then they take two damage, and then we ping them for one. And it all has tramples, so. Brazen Bar would have gotten me good there. Who are you talking about, so cutie? Sure. I have an excellent Monday toasted panini. I hope you hope you are as well. Get a nice meaty vintage cube stream in. Oh yeah, testing. Oh yeah, Tiger saving my ass this hand hum. They do have a braid which might answer this Palantir. Would love a red source, and I should maybe be milling towards a red source. But I was a bit worried about uh, Umazawa's coming down. Maybe that was cowardly on my part. I guess I'm just passing. Opponent just took seven. We are dead to a pump next turn though, so we need to either land Thunder Maw or the Raptor. Yeah, it's going to be like Thunder Mondo attack, which is pretty unpleasant. I could Pest Infest and just make four 1-1s so that'll at least like gain life when they die. Kind of hate it. Just going to do this and hope they don't have Borrower. Looks like they got a thing. All right, they get to win. GG. Damn. Yeah, that's kind of the issue with Palantir, right? It's not actual board presence. It just like gives you filtering for a couple of turns. Mm, couldn't really afford it there. Needed a dismember or something.